it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Today we're coming to you live from the beautiful East London at the Big London Bake. And as you can see, these are our contestants. There's lots of bakers from all different abilities and they look raring to go. So without further ado, let's get on with the baking. So along this episode, we're going to be following Debook and Danny. And they are the star bakers really. Once rivals and currently aces two highest ranking players with Danny being first. There's already mind games going on, so mental warfare was unbearable in this place. But Danny and Debook just stayed calm. Now Debook got some nice cocoa powder. We mixed that in with the sponge mitt. As you can see he's got this beautiful chocolatey hue. Put that in the oven for a bit. And then we start mixing up the custard. Isn't this beautiful? Unfortunately for Danny, he couldn't work the Hobbit a beard. Danny, what are you doing? Oh, As you could see, Danny was stirring, but that wasn't the real stirring. Danny's screaming and stirring. No, he's fucking on you. 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 We're coming here to talk about it. We're doing a sprint, not we're doing a marathon, not a sprint. This guy's been running from the word go. Thing is, right. is, what everyone's saying is about this guy, we're forgetting this guy. I'm the carry. <laughs> I like how you said it. Cool, he's getting real. He's a realist. The other guy, he's just there for a star. No comment. <laughs> After all that, I guess we better get back to the baking. So as you can see, some custard was made. Lovely. And then it was on to the jam. Look at that. Oh, the jam. So your jam is jamming. Yeah, I'm into tech. Yeah, tech yeah. Jam. That's why I call me tech jammer. Come on, come on. <laughs> so my just is duck in because it's better to quit than lose. So. And just like that, my desk was gone, which means one team was already destroyed. As you can see, Danny and D-Boot's cake came out lovely, so even, great colour, and look at that jam. It really makes you want to see Gonny Gosh. I mean, look at that, as he peels that paper off. Isn't it just beautiful? Danny even had time for a little photo shoot, and then he took his cake over to the cooling rack. I'll just wait in now. Got a few minutes to spare. Not worried about all the stuff in here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll make the whipped cream in a minute. So, let's come along. Got to play some games. Yeah. Got the van here. Just, um, yeah, might as well play some games. As you can see, our main team was cool as a cucumber. And Deboot come through with the drinks. He's got his priorities in the right place. Cheers. So, see the thing is, how you know we're going to win? is because everyone else keeps referring to themselves as chefs. But we're bakers. I mean, some have said we're master bakers. Hold, hold on. I don't see it. I don't see it. Danny put down some flour, make sure the fondant icing doesn't stick. And the first thing he does is he adds some green food dye to make his fondant icing green. Who would have thought it? Now, I don't want to sound biased, but this was the best mitting we had ever seen in the tent. This guy really knew what he was doing. Also, a quick shout out to our cameraman. Tech Jamo, wow, look at that. And it was at this point in the video that I decided this probably doesn't need that much more explaining. 
So I'm going to let Danny speak for himself on this part. And plus it gives my lovely vocal cords a rest. Oh mate, Danny, you brought... Oh, Danny! As you could hear, Deep Blue have very little faith in Danny. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. So we asked Tech Jamo what he thought of our cake, which in hindsight was a mistake. I mean, this guy's a tech YouTuber. He's not a food critic, is he? 6.5 out of 10. See, and this is how you can tell because clearly that's a 10. Come on, yeah, we're, we're rolling. We're ro oh, yeah, is that what we're saying? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 man sees it, man sees it. We are putting jam onto our cake. Mmm, nice. Delicious. You need two layers. Yeah, uh, one are layer. we? One layer. One layer. Yeah. One layer, but we're just, we're keeping it very like humble but sweet. Yeah. Because everyone's got like triple layer. Like, we're, not, we're not all about triple that. Triple layer. That's it, that's it. That's it. Showing off, come on. Yeah, showing sure off. Like, we're just a bit more. Are you yeah. sure? Danny, a bit more spreading, man. Oh. No, because the white. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks juicy, isn't it? Hey, there's no way we're not winning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone else. Even at this stage, this cake was turned into a real head turner. But at this point, we only had about 10 minutes left, so the pressure was on. And the knife wasn't really knifing. It wasn't really giving a smooth cut when it comes to the lettering. So I had to just get on with it and hope for the best. It's better to have something than nothing. So as you can see, we've got the Predator logo here. And um, yeah, that's as good as it gets. So I had to quickly mix up some black fondant icing. And got five minutes see, left to I've got the technique down to a T. Alright, start roll that out. Start, let's start rolling it, baby. Huh? Kevin's done the ace of things. As you can hear from my partner in crime, there was fear in the air, but not for me. All I could see was the trophy at the end. So, as you can see, I'm a big fan of the movie Venom, and that's what I went for around the edge of the cake. I didn't work completely covered because you know what? It's perfectly imperfect. The Smarties made some RGB effect and obviously it's on an Ace of Predator logo. So, gaming all the way. Look at that, on brand, beautiful. I like some of these. But I mean, you can see, you can just see. Ours was clearly the winner, right? That's not to say these cakes cake. weren't oh, like, beautiful when they were right. Oh, come on, this is an Acer event. And Ace of Predator is surely Right. At this point, you could feel the anxiety in the air. This lady didn't want to cut into our cake. It was like destroying the Mona Lisa or one of those other pieces of art that everyone loves. You say best cake here? What? Someone said that. I didn't say that. Oh, oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, you can't say it now. You can't say it yet. And now it was time for the judging. So in third place, we had this cake, which was fair enough. Of course, we didn't have to worry about third place. We are first place, right? And then, in the second place, we had this cake. Now that is a very pretty cake as well, granted. Well, it's not really on brand, is it? Let's be honest. And then lastly, well, in first place was this one. It was definitely the people's champion here. But you gotta respect the hustle. But when you see a celebration like that, 
hacking stay mad. But we can stay bitter. Well, I just want to say a big thank you to Chili Bob PR, AC UK, and everyone that attended the event. Everyone was lovely. And the big London Bake for being great host. All I can say is watch this space. There's a lot of great Acer products coming out. And yeah, subscribe. Bye-bye.